lavish, multi-million dollar spectacle saw 22 mummies, 18 kings, and 4 queens transported from the peach color neoclassical Egyptian museum to their new resting place 5 kilometers away, with tight security arrangements befitting their royal blood and status as national treasures. The mummies were relocated to the new National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in what is called the Pharaoh's Golden Parade. They were transported with great fanfare in chronological order of their reigns from the 17th dynasty ruler, Sekinaratatu, to Ramses IX, who reigned in the 12th century BC. Egypt experienced a sharp rise in COVID-19 infections a year ago, but following a decline in the number of cases and deaths, restrictions on open-air gatherings were later lifted. One of the main attractions of Saturday's event is King Ramses II, the most famous pharaoh of the New Kingdom, who ruled for 67 years and is remembered for signing the first known peace treaty. Another is Queen Hatshepsut, or foremost of noble ladies. She became ruler even though the customs of her time were that women did not become pharaohs. Each mummy was carried on a decorated vehicle fitted with special shock absorbers and surrounded by a motorcade including replica horse-drawn war chariot. While ancient mummification techniques originally preserved the pharaohs, for the move they have been placed in special nitrogen-filled boxes to help protect them against external conditions. Roads along the route have also been repaved to keep the journey smooth. The Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities has done its best to make sure that the mummies have been stabilized, conserved, and are packed in a climate-controlled environment, said Salim Akram professor of Egyptology at the American University in Cairo.